Hi all, welcome to my video. In this video, we will create this assembly. First, I will show you how to create parts individually, then after assemble them in SOLIDWORKS. During this video, I will be using my new mouse kit. I have space mouse kit from 3D Connection, and during the video, I will be using them, and I will show you how these products can make your life very easy during this kind of operations. So, we open a new part, and we begin. In the front plane, first we will create a sketch. I will get a line, create something like this, and after we will give dimensions. So, okay, this is good. This two guy will be construction geometry, and I will give dimensions. Here, 34. Here 30, here 38. To be able to give diametral dimensions, you need a construction line. That's why with one touch I can give these dimensions. Here we give 70, and then I press Ctrl, select this two line, and make equal with the relations menu. After I close my Sketch, revolve selected, and I will select this axis and create this one. Now we can give some chamfers. Chamfer value will be 0 0.5 here, here, on this face, and then in this internal edge, I will create chamfer. Everything looks fine, and let's close this and go to the next step. So this is part one. Zero zero one, let's say C L M like clamp SE. So second part will be a hose. If you create a new sketch in the front plane, you place here one line and after another line here. We select all of them, make them equal. Then I get an arc, the three point arc. I draw first, do the second, select these two objects, make them equal, select these two objects, make them tangent. If you don't want to do that, you press Ctrl and select them manually. Tangency here also needs to be created. I create tangency. Now let's start to give some dimensions. Here we got 50. Here we got 250. And this dimension will be 60. We are good to go to next step. We close sketch. And then now we will create this web. I select web. Circular profile. Outside is 40. We close this guy, and now we are going to create a shell. So shell will be uh, two mm, three millimeter, if I'm right. Let's give now, and then we will see here three three, and let's save this part as well. We can change them at assembly later on. It's not very important. So second part is created. Now we will create the last one, which is clamp. For that, we create a new part and in the front plane, a new sketch. After I create here an arc, it will be something like this. Dimension here will be 20 because the hose diameter is 40. I will create a vertical construction geometry, then I will combine this edge. Okay, what we do now, we give here 25 degree and we will create here 115. 
You may wonder why I use a lot of construction geometry. They are really making your life easy during these operations. You can position things without using so much relations. That's the reason. So I created another line. This here we have colon here, and I will give here a dimension, let's say 12. And then after I will add one radius, which is five. This is good. Then we can go to next step. Extrude plus base, chain feature, outwards, two millimeter thickness, and create here a mid plane option. 20. Okay, this is good. Now we need to create fillet here and here, and the value will be only 5. Okay, and we select front plane and we look normal to. I will create here one section which will be looking like this. Okay, it's good. Let's make this one collinear, this one vertical to this guy, and let's start to give dimensions. From top to here, you need to give 3, and the angle here should be something 40. And we can make also this one perpendicular, not so important. I close my sketch, and I get at the end something like this. Okay, now we are going to make the cut extrude. In the mid plane, it will be 12 mm. And what we get, something like this at the end. This looks fine. And after this operation, we need to create here also radiuses. Let's do them right away. Here and sorry. I will create this one. The mouse set have three button. I need to get use it, but it is very crazy to use this thing. Very capable thing. So in the front plane, I'm going to look again normal to, and then create here one sketch. We create a sketch, and then we need to create an arc. Arc will be something like this and we make tangency and this will be also equal same same operation not so different so after this operation we create here one another line and now this line will be collinear with this so length again 12 And then I need to check a bit, little bit, how much we need to extend it. And let's make nominal to 55. We may change them after. And here also a radius 5. Yes, I want that. Say broken. And let me close this one. Extrude post space. Change direction, and this will be 10 from mid plane. Do not forget to do that, otherwise, you are into issues. So it looks fine, and but I see I need to make some changes, which is fine. I will define here radius 2, 2, maybe here and here. Might be nice to create radius as well. So I can rotate them a bit and add radius here. Yes, that's fine. Let's create some, change a bit some things here. Okay, for example, this one, let's make it 15. And then I think we will have more near to the real situation. Yes, and I need to change this a bit as well. Yes, this is good. Okay. And we can save this guy now. 
this is part 3. Yes. Now from, from, uh, from begins, most nice part, we will assemble them. I will create here first my first model. I will click on it right. We say float. We come here, select origin to origin and assemble them. Okay, this is good. Now second component, hose. Hose will be here. And then let's give some relations. This one to this one. And we need to get here this surface and this guy. Yes, this is also good. And we can give some colors. For example, I would like to make this one black, as you saw before in my video. And this will be like this. To change display state a little bit, you will see also better. Yes, this looks fine. And I will add uh, one another one here. So simply we will rotate this. How I did that, I just copy it. I will demonstrate again. I select this one and this one. After this guy and this surface. Yes, this looks good. I think we can invite now clamp, which is this guy. Sketch is visible. Let's hide him. Mate. I select this clamp surface. I select the surface. Say OK. And I will give some dimensions here, which will be from this surface to this surface a 20 millimeter. Yes. Yes, guys, we have this nice shape now and then I can copy this part again so we got four part select the torque clamp this needs also by the way and uh, direction right plane with form plane we can make coincident and then it should work and also I think hose needs to be positioned rightly front plane and front plane let's make it it's good. Okay, we have that. Now what we are going to do, we will copy the part, this one. Let's click Control and just uh, move the mouse and then you get new part, made. Here you select this one and this one, it's good. And if it's missing this dimension, I will give it, which is 20. If you remember, uh, here part is not constrained well. We need to give also here a relation or mate, which is right plane versus front plane. Yes. Almost there. I see one part is uh, undefined, underdefined, not undefined. I think this is rotating. It will not kill you, but this thing's always creating problem in the drawings. Then you might ask by SolidWorks to update your drawing. Because rotation is changing, we will change, and that is uh, not nice. So, it looks good. Let me position it nicely. You see, I can control very nicely. And I will assign here material on this part even maybe it's just a color let's make it like this and because I use copy parts automatically the other also gets that uh, color and then what I will do I will create on this one a material I will select metal aluminum and brushed aluminum let's say like this yes and then we save assembly give a name yeah. yes we are done guys 
it was really nice to model and also use these mouses and I need a little bit more get used to them but look at that I without having having my normal mouse how good I can position myself on the screen when you are working with complex models it will really help you and also you don't need to, to use your right hand a lot to position part for example rotate like this we constantly giving a lot of tasks to our right hand if we do not have this kind of things yes it looks really good and uh, fun part also this video covers a lot of aspects of SOLIDWORKS you create parts, you use a lot of commands and then you assemble them in assembly I think it's really nice and you can learn a lot yes thanks for watching guys